welcome to Amateur Kitchen, where we bring you into our kitchen and show you that you don't need to be a professional chef to cook or think like one. And today we are making fish tacos for Cinco de Mayo. That's right, Cinco de Mayo is a big celebration every single year. We're gonna celebrate with our fish tacos and we're actually gonna use a mahi-mahi fish which comes from Costa Rica, and it's a really nice flaky fish, so that's what we're gonna get started, okay? okay. All right, first, we're gonna start with cutting up an orange, a lemon, and a lime, and we're gonna squeeze it for our marinade. So let me go ahead and start cutting these up for you, Maria. And then you can, actually, let's put this up here. You can squeeze this in, okay? All of the juices, all your muscles, really hard. There you go. Like I said, we have one orange, one lemon, and one lime. And we're gonna use all these juices. Do you need help? Yeah. <laughs> Looks great, Maria, thank you so much. I think you got it all out. Go ahead and throw it away. Here's a napkin. <laughs> and we're just gonna put in about a teaspoon of ancho chili powder. And this is just a powder from an ancho chili. If you don't have this or you can't find it, go ahead and just put a few dashes in there. There you go. Another one. Another one. Shake it. If you can't find this though, go ahead and use some paprika or some smoked paprika. So sometimes it gets stuck. There we go. Perfect. And then we're just going to add in about another teaspoon or so of pepper. Can you do this for me? Good. Very nice. Thank you so much, Maria. That is perfect. And now what we're gonna do, is we have the acidity part of our marinade. Now we're just gonna add in a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just gonna have Maria whisk this all together. And I'm gonna put about a half of a cup of olive oil in it. Good job. That looks about perfect. So it's all well combined. Now we're just gonna take our mahi-mahi and put it in the marinade. And we're gonna just allow it to marinate for about 15 to 30 minutes. Because it does have a lot of acidity in it from the citrus fruits, we don't want to cook our meat quite yet. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to flip it over a couple of times to get it started. About halfway through, I'll flip it again so it can marinate on the other side. So that's it. We're just going to put this aside, okay? okay. Now we're going to get started on cutting up all the veggies for our homemade corn salsa. It is delicious, right? Yes. So if you want to hold off on that, you definitely can. Remember, don't touch your eyes with it. Ah, it'll burn. So we're going to also add in two tablespoons of cilantro. Now cilantro is kind of an acquired taste. So if you don't like it, you could definitely use parsley. But I think you're really going to like this. And as you can tell, we're making a lot of salsa. So if you do want some chips and salsa prior to or with your meal, you can definitely have that. Now we're going to squeeze two limes into here. So if you want to do that part, and I'll do these, squeeze it really hard. Sometimes to get the juices flowing too, you could also put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds or so. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very good. And while Maria is squeezing her last part, 
I'm just gonna put in about a teaspoon of salt and about another teaspoon of pepper or so. And this will just kind of combine all the flavors together. And we're just gonna let this sit. The longer it sits, the better it gets. So this is something you could even do the night before. So we'll finish squeezing, look good. You wanna stir it for me now? Go ahead and stir it. Go ahead and stir it. Yeah? Go ahead and stir it. Now that I'm getting a lime shower. That was very nice, Maria. <laughs> Get in there. Get it all stirred up, okay? Very good. Now, rather than the traditional, keep doing it, rather than the traditional lettuce that you normally top tacos with, we're gonna use type of a cold slaw. Not your traditional mayonnaise kind, because I'm not really fond on that, but let me show you how to make a great slaw to put on your fish tacos. Good job, Maria. On to making the slaw part of our fish taco. We're actually gonna keep some similar flavors that we used in our marinade. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of Dijon mustard into here. So go ahead and start pouring, just squeeze it. About two tablespoons, I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. That's good, plenty. Very nice, thank you. And then we're just gonna squeeze the juice of one orange, one lemon, and one lime again. So go ahead and do that. I'll cut these and then I'll help you. Use those muscles. Great, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna whisk this all together so if you can whisk it, and while you're doing that, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of olive oil back into here. You can also use an extra virgin olive oil if that's what you have. Kind of a three to one ratio, so we're gonna use a little bit more oil than we are to the acidity, the, uh, the orange and the lemon and the lime. So kind of whisk it really good, just kind of like this. Okay, there you go, perfect. Keep going, I'm just gonna add in a teaspoon or so of some salt, some freshly ground black pepper, about a teaspoon again, and then we are gonna use the ancho chili pepper, as you remember we did with the marinade, just to kind of give it a little bit of a kick. Again, if you don't have it, use some paprika, or you know what else would be really good in this, is some cayenne pepper too. Very nice, thank you so much, Maria. You're welcome. That's looking great. And we already have a package of pre-shredded cabbage and carrots for us. It's really nice to take help from the grocery store. So I'm just gonna have you pour that in. So go ahead and pour. And we can start with maybe about half of it and then we can build more if we want to. Move this around. Okay. And again, the longer this sits, the better it's gonna get, so. Very nice, looks good Maria, doesn't it? Yeah. Very good. Now did we mention that we're heading outside today and grilling our mahi-mahi? We're doing it on some cedar planks and we've had them soaking in some water for a couple of hours just to be on the safe side. I have done it before, I have started the whole plank on fire many, many times, so word of advice, Soak them in water prior to going out. So let's get ready to head outside, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's get our mommy mommy. Put our cedar plank on the grill for 10 minutes. Now we're putting our mahi mahi on the grill for another 10, 15 minutes. We finished our fish tacos for Cinco de Mayo. That's right, and it was so easy. We're gonna go ahead and serve it up now. I like to do it more family style, so you can just pass it around and you can just take what you want. But we're gonna put a little bit of this mahi-mahi fish, which is just a nice white flaky fish. We cooked on the grill on a cedar plank. And I have some avocados that I've just chopped up and uh, I put a little bit of lime juice so it stops the browning, lime or lemon, but I use lime. And then we're gonna put some of our homemade corn salsa on here that Maria helped make, right? Yeah. And then some of our homemade cabbage with a vinaigrette dressing from all those citrus juices. Remember the orange and the lemon and the lime. And then we put a little bit of Dijon mustard in it as well. So we're gonna put that on. And what I'd like to do right at the end is just squeeze a little bit more of lime juice from a lime wedge that I've cut up and put on. Yum? Yeah. So, I'm making one for both Maria and I. Of course you know, I always want Maria to be honest with whatever we try. 
and she does like tacos, but we'll see if she likes the fish tacos. So, do you want to try it for me? Just try a little bite. Okay, go ahead and try it. <laughs> it's a corn tortilla, so it's a little bit different than what she's probably used to. What do you think? Only that part? Do you want a little bit more of the fish? No? <laughs> okay, I'll try it so we can see. Mm. Mm. I think this part is fun. Mm -hmm. You want to try that? Maybe a little bite. Okay, perfect. What do you think? really good actually. All of the fresh flavors from those fresh produce that we got on here just puts it over the top and you're going to love the Mahi Mahi fish. It's a very light fish, very easy to make and takes to any flavor that you try marinated in. So this is our Cinco de Mayo celebration, fiesta, whatever you want to call it. We hope this is yours too. Remember you can find more recipes and videos at AmateurKitchen.tv and join us again next time on Amateur Kitchen. That's right. Happy Cinco de Mayo.